Good afternoon, everybody. You're watching Five Girls, Five Minutes. Five Girls Talk for Five Minutes and Don't Edit Their Videos. I'm Tara. It is Tuesday, May 29th, 2012. I'm coming to you from my room in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it is officially summer for me. I have no more school. I don't have to be at work. Well, that's not true. I'm working summer school, obviously. i got that job coming up. So that's going to be... It starts in a couple of weeks and but it's summertime and I don't have to see some of my children for a little while which is really nice because sometimes when you're a teacher you just want to have to really resist the urge to kill and that's what I'm working on right now I slept in today and it felt wonderful I basically sat in bed and I read I'm reading um, the second girl with the dragon tattoo book, The Girl Who Played With Fire, which if you guys haven't read those, they're excellent. The first one was kind of hard to get into, but the second one, once you already know all the characters, you already love all the characters, and so it's really intense and fantastic, and I only have about 150 pages left of it, and I'm really burning through it. Um, I did actually watch all the videos, uh, however, of course, my memory is pretty cool, pretty craptastic too, and I didn't have the foresight to write down anything. Uh, Tally, you were talking about those awesome necklaces with clue pieces? That's fantastic. Like, I really hope that that works out the way you've envisioned it in your head and that it does awesome things because, yeah, it's gonna be... That's that's so cool. And it's, uh, it's cool that you have this little, like, an inside joke sort of thing. I have a few things like that. I, um... It's not quite as specific as, like, a... As a like a company reference, but I have friends who we, we, um, it started out with my sister calling her dog a kitty, so she would meow at her cat, and so she would say, hey, I love you, meow, or I love you, meow, 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 and so there's a few of my friends and I who just either call each other meow, or refer to each other as meow or just meow at each other or say meow meow instead of I love you and so there are countless um, examples of the cat thing that have just you know I, I get cat things and I do cat things together um, just I don't know I think calling somebody meow is a term of endearment but not everybody gets to be called meow I only have I think my sister and then like three or four other people who I would even consider calling meow, so that's something. Uh, Itzel, we were talking about tattoos and then Sarah was talking about tattoos too. Sarah, I thought it was really funny that you said you had this whole area, you know, that nothing else is really going on except that you made me laugh because you don't have any tattoos, so you've got all kinds of areas. Um, I do have two tattoos, actually I have two on my ankles, and surprisingly enough, funnily enough that you mention this, I am actually going to get a tattoo next week. I made a tattoo last Tuesday, well I made last Tuesday I made a tattoo appointment and next Tuesday is my tattoo appointment so I'm getting a tattoo at 5 o'clock on June 5th which is really exciting. I don't know if I got to tell you this and I feel like maybe I haven't told you this story but my grandmother whenever she thought she looked, got changed back whenever she was doing anything. She looked to see if it had my birth year or my sister's birth year on it. So 1983, which is mine, or 1986, which is my sister's. And she put those coins, if she found a quarter or anything like that, she put those coins in a jar. And over Christmas, she gave them to us, and I decided that I wanted to do something kind of significant with it. So what do I do? I'm getting a tattoo with it. But it's a tattoo that is partially for my grandmother, even though she's still alive. Um, I hope that doesn't seem weird, but that's what I'm doing because she's my most important grandparent. And I don't know, how do you guys, do you guys, you know, maybe this is kind of personal or whatever, but like, do you guys have a certain side of your family that you're closer to than your others? Like, for example, my mom has is an only child, so my sister and I are her only grandchildren. But my dad his side of the family, he's one of eight kids, and so my grandparents on that side have tons of grandchildren. And I know sometimes it doesn't really matter, like sometimes it doesn't factor in, it doesn't really make a difference, like it doesn't matter how many kids you have, you I treat all your grandchildren equally, but 
my mom's mom, my grandmother, who did all this stuff, these coins for me, she is my most significant grandparent. She's the one that I'm close to, and my other ones I'm not so close to. I'm not really close to my dad's side of the family very much. But my mom's side, even though she doesn't have any siblings, I'm really close to them. So, anyway, that's my question. I'm getting a tattoo, and hopefully, I don't think by the time I'll make a video next week that the tattoo will actually be done, because the tattoo is going to be about 5 o'clock, and it won't be done until like 7.30, and I'll try to make my video before then, maybe, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.